Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to show off a little cheese I found today. I was testing around with something completely different and I just accidentally came across this. I'm on it. And I thought it was pretty hilarious, so I wanted to show it real quick. Um, I have the Strand of Favor necklace. It's a very, very cheesy necklace. And I've been using it in solo mostly lately. But today I got the idea that there's one thing that you can only do with two people. And that is the Deltus Cage Helmet loop <laughs> that I just got the idea for today. Um, so how it works is... Initially, you will, of course, start with a very low number of damage. As you can see here already, I'm at a pretty, I've overdone it a little bit. I'm at a pretty crazy damage number right now. And the thing about Deltrus is that as long as it's going, as you can see, I have a really long duration on this one because of Strand of Favor. And if I hit someone, wait here. I'll go on ahead. Oh, wrong character. You're mine. Go for it. If I hit someone with lightning damage, as you can see here, the number that I had before is now higher on this guy. If I hit someone with lightning damage, I will get a lash that is equivalent to the amount of damage I have taken in lightning damage, which is actually quite OP, but obviously the whole thing that is holding you back about Deltros is the very short duration on one hand. But also, on the other hand, if you have someone that already has the Deltrus buff on them. I'll go on ahead. Oh, wrong character. Already has the Deltrus buff on them. Boom. This was a lower one anyway, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If I would have hit a higher number than what she has right now already, then the Deltrus buff would not have been replaced, but it would stay the lower number. And so how this little loop thing works is that you keep switching the helmet. You don't, you don't crazily increase the duration like I did here. You just always just increase it long enough that you don't lose it. Like this, you equip and unequip. And so it's 9.7 seconds. And it's a multiplicative increase, so at first it doesn't go up by that much, but because it's multiplicative, eventually it goes up like crazy. So how I got this ridiculous da da damage number was just simply do something like this, get the duration like comfortable and then wait till the other person's dead rose runs out which once again obviously you don't want to get it this high you just want to have like this type of duration you let it run out and you hit the other person again and it's a little bit ng dependent as you can see here the numbers are very very volatile um i mean now they're really crazy because the numbers are very high anyway but also if you do this like at the very start if you start with something simple like a jolting touch then um there will still be a very very big difference between a max roll crit 
and obviously a graze but like even a low damage roll crit will sometimes be lower than just a normal hit so it takes a long time and since this was a test character for me anyway my ultimate is still alive by the way i just was a little bit afraid of playing it so i haven't played it for a while but it is still alive and kicking but this is just test character, so I took the liberty and just craft potions of Luminous Adder potions to remove the injuries. But if you wanted, I, would, I just wanted to test this if it really keeps going up, if you do keep doing this duration. So that's why I use cheats, I'm sorry, but you don't need to to get this up. Um, there's a couple of ways... First of all, to do it without Adra potions, completely without them. Um, one of them is just doing this in combat, like... Trigger combat with a trap, but be in stealth over here with your party, and then have a priest in your party, cast bang, death, salvation of times, and these two guys are doing it, so they can't die from the injuries. And obviously you'll need Brilliant on the priest as well, but... With Strand of Favor and Brilliant Cloak, like the same thing we're doing here with equipping and unequipping, you can also do that with either the Brilliant Cloak or with Least Unstable Coil and Sasha Singh Simita. So there's a couple of ways to get Brilliant and obviously you could also just have a Cypher in your party cast Ancestor's Memory on a Priest and with... Salvation of time, they can just prolong it forever, and the same way they can just prolong the Baron Desta forever. So these guys will get three injuries, but they won't die of the injuries. So that's something how you can do it without Adra potions. Another option that you can do is, I think at least, you can go to Naked Attackers or Luminous Bass House and remove injuries, if I remember correctly. But that's pretty expensive. Another thing you could do, um, as you can maybe see, I memed around a little bit too much, and these two people I've been giving the giant lashes to, these two people happen to be level 1. I mean, they could level up, but I just hired two adventurers, and... That's also a thing you can do. You can just go to an inn and keep rehiring adventurers when you kill one on injuries. It does cost 500 gold each time and it's a little bit obnoxious. But I think in the long run, maybe the method with doing this in combat with a priest is maybe a little bit better. But hey, I just want to test it out. I want to see how high I can get. I mean, obviously at this point, it's very easy to get higher rolls almost every time on almost every hit. But when you're lower level, then it's really obnoxious sometimes. You really have to wait for that super high damage crit. So I wouldn't recommend going this far because you don't really need this amount of damage. This Lash applies to everything you do. As you can see, the base damage here is Crush. I mean, my initial hit had to be with Jolting Touch or with the Scroll or with Chain Lightning. The initial hit had to be Pure Lightning to trigger the first death row, but eventually you can do this with anything. And it even applies to stuff like the Freezing Pillar spells that don't have any lightning at all and have like giant AOE and pulse rate and whatnot. Everything that hits basically, this will get applied to. So this super high damage isn't necessary. When I tested around a bit, what I could get quickly is around 700% took me less than 10 minutes, I think. And also didn't take too many potions that took like, I don't know, maybe 10 potions in total. So yeah, 700% Lash is really quickly, you can really quickly get that, and it's already insane. It's already so much damage. Yeah, just wanted to share this real quick. Yeah, as you can see, Strand of Favor OP prolongs everything infinitely. 
All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.